In this video, we'll walk through opening Alteryx and saving an Alteryx Designer workflow. These videos demonstrate the process using Alteryx Designer 2021.2.1 with the predictive tools installed. If you have a different version, your screen may appear slightly different from the screen in these videos. However, the functions and methods shown should operate similarly regardless of version. Let's begin a workflow for our project. Double click on the Alteryx Designer icon on your desktop or use the search bar at the bottom of Windows to find Alteryx Designer. Then open the application. We typically refer to Alteryx Designer as simply Alteryx. When you open Alteryx, you should see a new blank canvas. This is where we will place Alteryx tools to create the workflow that transforms our data. We tell the tools how we want to transform or create data in the configuration pane to the left. Tools are organized by functional menus just to the top of the canvas. For example, the In-Out menu contains tools to input data into Alteryx and output transform data files. The Preparation menu contains tools that help us perform common data transformations, such as data cleansing, filters, and create data with formulas. Depending on your screen size, you may need to use the left or right arrows to see additional tools that are available in each menu. You can use the right and left arrows next to the menus to see additional functional menus. Above the functional menus are familiar menus and options, such as the File menu, the Help menu, and a globe icon that allows you to change the language of the program. There is also a search bar which allows you to quickly search for tools by name, function, or even the icon image. For example, later we will use the dynamic rename tool. If you don't remember that this tool is on the developer functional menu and don't remember the name, but do recall that the tool has an image of a hand, you can type hand in the search bar, and the dynamic rename tool will appear as a search result. You can pull tools right off the search results onto your canvas. Additionally, the search menu provides you with results from Alteryx's community, an extremely useful resource when you are trying to create a workflow from scratch. Below the canvas is our results window. We will introduce functions for this menu in the next video. Before we go any further, now is a good time to save our workflow. Save your Alteryx workflow using the File, Save As menus. Use the Browse option to open the File Explorer. Save the Alteryx workflow into the file folder that we created. Name the Alteryx workflow with your name client's name, and date. In the future, you can open up this workflow by navigating to the folder where you saved it and double-clicking on the workflow. Good job! Now that we've saved our Alteryx workflow, we can begin working with our data.